Apple has a new UI it's unveiling called Liquid Glass, which is really just a bunch of frosted windows, but let's analyze it and rate it 1 through 10. It's described as having optical glass properties, transparency, refraction, specular highlights with fluid responsiveness. It was inspired by Vision OS's layered UI approach, and it introduces a semi-transparent layer beneath controls, toolbars, and navigation that dynamically tints itself based on the background content and ambient light. It's also supposed to unify the look of all their products on different platforms. Under the hood, it leverages custom metal shaders to compute per fragment refraction and specular highlights feeding results into core animation compositions for 120 FPS updates. The cool thing about it is UI elements will morph their blur strength based on CPU or GPU load and the screen content, but I question performance because they use micro micro facet BRDF models to simulate how light skims across curved glass edges to add a subtle sheen that tracks device orientation. Yeah, that's a lot. As for the code is concerned, you only need to extend parameters to migrate without a total rewrite. However, there are some complaints that it can be overly glassy at times, and it reminds me of the glass morphism craze of 2021. But as far as the foreseeable cons are, I feel like build times could be affected from all the shaders and it might become a dependency hell for engineer CI pipelines. But let's give Apple a standing ovation for spending years to create a semi-transparent rectangle because it's Apple. But in all seriousness, is this possibly a turning point for UI culture to be more expressive where minimalism has dominated the space mostly because of Apple?